close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out, and see what kind of breathing feels comfortable right now. You have the right to change the breath. In fact, we're adjusting the breath all the time. Usually it's subconsciously. Now you want to bring some consciousness to what you're doing, some alertness, some awareness, to see what kind of breathing really is good for the body. When there's a sensation of pleasure of the breath, allow that pleasure to spread around. So that as you focus on the body, you're not clamping down, but you're giving the, the body some space, giving it some room. The pleasure that comes from, from concentration is a kind of food for the mind. Generally we feed on sight, sound, smells, taste, tactile sensations, but we're also feeding on the intentions that go running after those things, and that kind of food is not necessarily good for us. Because greed can get involved, lust can get involved, anger, aversion, jealousy. All kinds of un unskillful intentions can go into trying to get a particular sight or sound or smell or taste, tactile sensation. And it's our intentions that form the most long-lasting food for the mind. Those sensations come and go, but the intentions leave their mark. So here as we're meditating, we're trying to develop skillful intentions of the mind. The, the desire to get the mind under control, the desire to be mindful, the desire to be alert, the desire to be skillful, all of which are good intentions, and all those good intentions are good food for the mind. So as you go through the day looking for this or listening for that, ask yourself, what's the intention behind that? What are you feeding the mind? Because the mind is like the body. If you feed it junk food, it's going to get weak. In other words, it's not going to be happy unless everything is just so, and it can create lots and lots of problems until things are just so. And then, of course, once they become just so, they change, and then you create more problems. But if a mind can learn to feed off of good intentions inside, then it's a lot stronger. It can put up with difficult situations outside. It can be a lot more resilient. That way you learn how to depend on the mind a lot more. You have that inner strength. So that when you're tempted to do something you know is unskillful, you can say no. When there's something that's skillful, that you find it hard to get your energies up, okay, you can figure out how to make yourself want to do the skillful thing. And this way you become more and more dependable for yourself and for the people around you. So meditation is good, dependable food. As long as you have to feed the mind, feed it well. <laughs>